It says Freddy Quimby beat a waiter half to death. Those Quimby children are so wild and rich. I hope he finally gets what's coming to him. But Freddy Quimby's innocent. How do you know? There weren't any witnesses. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. You'd think someone would have seen something at a crowded party like that. Well, they didn't, okay? They didn't. It says right here in black and white, no witnesses. Case closed. Well, let's all read the funnies. Oh, look, Charlie Brown said good grief. Ha, <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Lisa, I gotta tell somebody. I was at the Quimby compound yesterday when that frog waiter got whacked. I know that Freddie Quimby is innocent. Your witness? Bart, you have to tell the police. I can't. Why? Bart Simpson, I know you cut school yesterday. And as soon as I can prove it, I'm shipping you off to the Christian Military Reform School. What he said. Oh, I see. If you testify, Skinner will know you skip school. Well, if Freddie Quimby didn't do it, I'm sure he'll be found innocent by a fair and impartial jury. Oh, jury duty. I'll see that Quimby kid hang for this. Oh. I knew it was a bad idea to watch him open the mail. Uh, Freddie Quimby was with me the entire night in question. We were collecting canned goods for the starving people in, uh, you know, one of them loser countries. Well, that clearly. He's Freddy. clearly innocent. <laughs> oh, good. My laundry is done. You see, Lisa, they don't need my testimony. Only because Mayor Quimby's buying his nephew's freedom. <sighs> The system works. Just ask Klaus von Bülow. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to prove to you not only that Freddie Quimby is guilty, but that he is also innocent of not being guilty. I refer you to my expert witness, Dr. Hibbert. Well, only one in two million people has what we call the evil gene. Hitler had it, Walt Disney had it, and Freddie Quimby has it. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Hibbert. I rest my case. You rest your case? What? Oh, no, I thought that was just a figure of speech. Case closed. <laughs> this won't take long. He's clearly guilty. We'll probably be home by dinner time. Good. Night the dog from Fraser's gonna ride the dolphin on Sequest. Well, Bart, because of you, a horrible yet innocent person is going to jail. Hmm, maybe I should come forward. Oh, I can't wait till the sentencing part. That's where I really shine. Bart Simpson, for the heinous crime of hooking, I sentence you to a lifetime of hard labor in the cafeteria. More cream corn, Jimbo Jr. This cream corn tastes like cream crap. Watch the potty mouth, honey. Your sister says you have something to tell me. What? Uh, um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to say how great it is to finally see some chicks on the bench. Mm. Keep up the good work, toots. <laughs> huh? mm. <laughs> chicks on the bench. <laughs> so, Bart, have your insides been gnawed away by guilt yet? Sell it to Hallmark, sis. You look at a cucumber boy, as in cool as a... Next to McGarnigal. McGarnigal is framed for a crime he didn't commit. And only one witness can clear his name. A little sissy boy who's too scared to come forward. You gotta tell him what you saw, Billy. But I'm so scared, McGarnigal. You gotta do this one for me, Billy. McGarnigal. Okay. For you, McGarnigal. Well, McGonagall, Billy is dead. They slit his throat from ear to ear. Hey, I'm trying to eat lunch here. Even though reopening a trial at this point is illegal and grossly unconstitutional, I just can't say no to kids. So, young man, if Freddie Quimby didn't inflict these injuries on Mr. Lacoste, just who did? Well, I was hiding in the kitchen when it all happened. 